Everybody loves you now. So when you write a book like this, as far as the audience in this country is concerned, are you doing it to set a record straight? Do you want people to sort of like you at the end of it? Do you want people to say, do you know, that McEnroe, he's a well-rounded kind of guy. He's got lots of good thoughts. What, what, what's the objective at the end of it, do you think? I think a little bit of everything you just said. I mean, it's nice to be liked. It's a hell of a lot better than it was before. Um, I was proud of what was going on for the most part before, but it feels good to be sort of appreciated on some level. And as I said earlier, I'm not a guy that does the social media thing. And I think it take, I, I, I take a lot of pride in finishing them. It's not easy to do a book and to sort of pick and choose what you should be saying or what you shouldn't and how to say that. And every word may have some meaning. And you want it to come out in the way where you make some, you know, just sort of being vanilla, but you're making something, but you're not throwing someone under the bus. And if you tell a story about something you did, you don't want to th catch a person off guard. And you know, it's particularly difficult with my own kids and stuff and some of the things that my, my own children have gone through. That's, that's a very fine line as well to sort of how to know how to handle that or my ex-wife or, you know, all those things. When you do something, you're sort of revealing something about yourself, but you're also trying to sort of show the hopefully the human side and that hopefully a lot of people can relate to the type of things that I've gone through, obviously not on a court, center court at Wimbledon, but just in life in general.